HTML, HTML5, CSS, CSS3 tutorial for beginners. Let's get right into it because I'm going to follow a different approach to teach you HTML or HTML5 or CSS or CSS3. Now I'm just using Windows program, right? So let me right click and create a new text document. And let me call this index and remove dot text and instead say dot html let's say this it's gonna warn me are you sure yes i am okay. now this is my web page i've just created in two seconds right and if i right click and open with let's say a notepad just a basic windows notepad now i can say okay let me create a HTML page that has content in it for me to be able to do that I need to say less than sign HTML greater than sign make some space and each HTML tag requires a closing tag and we use forward slash to say that is closing of HTML that means anything that I place within is it should be rendered by the browser as hypertext markup language now when you hear that term hypertext, hypertext markup language you know PHP or JavaScript these are programming languages right but HTML is not a programming language per se so remember that so don't get confused at the beginning saying oh HTML markup language so I have to learn another language of programming you don't have to it's just so straightforward it's not funny what I found over the years even while studying web development um, you know, they your know, teachers and that yes they do their best but they follow a preset approach and I'm trying to teach you HTML HTML5 also CSS using different methods so now each HTML document should also have a body tag so let's create our body tag and remember we need to close that body tag that means now if I place anything within the body tag it will be seen in the front end of the browser let's just say hello world let's save this document let me close this up now let me open this up in a Chrome browser and voila I've got my web page all going on let's continue since we are a beginner let's say you know what I want to place that hello world within a heading tag so let's do that and remember we need to close the heading tag as well let's save this let's refresh our web page and look what happened because heading one tags are rendered a little bit different by the modern browsers so this is your first web page now if you can understand the simplicity of what I've just shown you then you'll be a great website creator who knows the core concepts of HTML because HTML5 is actually built upon HTML so when you hear both terms just remember they are all the same in a sense that HTML5 is just an extension that means you've got more tags that's all and surely browsers render them differently so this was an introduction video in the coming video sessions I'll show you some more insights so that you have that knowledge to build web pages web applications websites and all that stuff and I'll follow this unorthodox method to give you the insights and tools that you need to build upon if you haven't subscribed to rank your YouTube channel simply hit the subscribe button and I'll talk with you in the next video session